It was my first time ever painting with fluorescence, you know? Normally I paint with like these type of colors. Check it out. You know what time it is? <laughs> Y'all know what today is, right? Today's the day we start working on the RH50. The meet me. So I'm looking for all the fluorescent colors I can get. It doesn't look like they got many fluorescent options. I'll be completely honest with y'all. Yo, they got glow in the dark paint. I know we got Walmart next door. We also got a Lowe's around the corner. So if Walmart doesn't have it, I'll make my way to Lowe's and see if they got the fluorescent options. Since Walmart's only in the next lot, we just gonna walk. I need this, I need this, and I need this. This one right here, flat gray primer. Thank you. Oh, they got fluorescent yellow, yes. Do you happen to know which aisle I could find the polyurethane clear coat? Excellent, thank, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Please wait for assistance. We have a black semi-flat primer and we also have a durable black for truck beds i figured using a truck bag liner on the floor might be helpful because it's skid resistant Can I get $2 in car wash three? It used to be $2 for four minutes. Now it's $3 for four minutes. I'm gonna try to get some of them stickers off. Just remove the license plate and I'm gonna give y'all one last look at what it looked like before the makeover. Yeah, some of these stickers didn't come off too well, but the rest, the pressure washer got like the ink off. I'm gonna hit it with some paint stripper once I get the panels off. I think it's time to start taking off the plastic. It's 91 degrees today and I'm sweating, y'all. Like Got the rear fender off. I'm gonna put this gas cap back on it so no random debris goes inside my gas tank. Hey, yo, man. It was 91 degree weather today, and guess what? It's all stripped down, yo. It is super stripped, and I'm super dirty. Look it, I removed all the panels. I removed the floorboard. The only thing I didn't remove was the bottom half, but that's because that faces the bottom anyway. It doesn't matter if they ever sees paint. It's gonna be like a waste of paint if I paint the bottom. But I removed everything, yo. Even the handlebars, tachometer, brake line, speedo gear, everything, yo, everything. I split that scooter in half before. I rebuilt it myself. I did a whole new head and piston job twice not once but twice probably about to put some paint stripper on the green panels i'm about to start the process of stripping those panels but i peeled off all of the emblems so i removed them because after i paint it i'll just use some adhesive some car emblem adhesive and stick them back on so it can still have that original look would you like to support tune 215 if so purchase your exclusive tune 215 limited edition timepiece there are two models available Model 1 comes in six different colors, which are unisex and can be worn by both male and females. The colors available are red, blue, green, yellow, orange, and purple. They have a tune 215 with a matte design, so you can tell time wherever you go. They are $25 each. Model 2 comes in men's size 40 millimeter or women's size 36 millimeter and has the exclusive U2 profile art with a special message engraved in each watch. They are $60 each. Both watches include free shipping anywhere in the USA. 
buy one or collect them all. It's up to you. But make note, there is a limited supply of model number one watches, but an extremely limited supply of model two watches. So act fast. I'm about to take some of this quick strip and I'm just gonna spray it on wherever their sticker's at. If you pay close attention, it's immediately working. It's bubbling up instantly. I'm done. The only thing that's going is my spirit. Whoa, y'all heard that boom, boom? I said my spirit and it said boom. I've been using, uh, what I've been using? What I've been using? I've been using this little scraper right here. So that's phase one, phase two. Since there ain't gonna be no stickers on phase two, I think I can work on getting the green paint off. We getting closer to where we wanna be, y'all. It's a pain in the butt though, man, I'm telling you. I just sprayed some more on this one. Now it's just about bringing it all down to gray as much as possible. And at the very end, I could just start sanding them. I was roasting yesterday. I was cooking like a corn on the cob. From the earth I rise, and to the earth I one day will return. Today's day two of working on the meat meat plastics, and I haven't had much success. Man, this thing became an auto body project for real, man. Look at this. I got sand dust all over me. I'm getting it down, but it's taking forever, man. I got them pretty much uh, cleaned off and sanded down. Well, it's about to go down, guys. here in the little cube and guess what so i applied the first coat a nice light coat i'm about to hit this one with some pink guys you did it you did it you did it the fluorescent so far is not laying evenly surprisingly man like this pink one oh no man it's laying poorly 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 now repeat after me goose from a goose blah blah this is when one of those climate control units would have came in handy i'm dripping i'm just bloop 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 Y'all want to know how it turned out? That's how it turned out. The semi-flat paint laid down perfect. Look it. I painted all the panels black. Those are still drying. That's semi-flat. Uh, I painted that piece and this piece with the truck bed liner. Now, although they look good from afar, I'm not too happy with how the pink one laid down. The pink one laid down a little funky. The green laid down pretty good. The yellow, eh. The orange, pretty good. This is just gonna be a little stunt scooter. I'm gonna be popping wheelies on it. I may or may not drop it again in the future. If I drop it, then hey, I mess up the paint job. So I'm not gonna get too in vain here with the paint. I even painted the little license plate bracket, but that's with the semi-flat. That came out nice and clean. Everything that's going on the scooter is back inside the cube. It's drying. I'm gonna leave it here for a day or so. Early the next morning. It was my first time ever painting with fluorescence, you know? Normally I paint with like these type of colors. Check it out. Like this high gloss uh, 2X Rust-Oleum. I got that color, a pink, check it out, a purple. Yeah, purple nurple, right? This is what I usually paint with and these lay down so smooth and so glassy and so perfect. I just started hitting it with this pink and it laid down so much better already on the first coat. It's even, I haven't even applied the second or third coat yet. And this is the way I wish the other one would have laid down. Nice and even, guys. I just did something, y'all. And this thing looks pretty neat now. I think it compensates for my error. Yo, it looks pretty darn cool. It's like a speckle splat of purple. Yeah, it looks so good in my opinion. It reminds me of like abstract art and the purple complements it so well. Look at that, look at that. Yo, I think it's gonna work out. I think it's gonna work out, guys. It's definitely gonna look different. I'm really liking it, I'm digging it. Yo, I'm digging that color combination. Those purple splats look dope. I'm on my way to the Essenton exit. I'm gonna meet up with the owner of the Ride Out Supply Company. He manufactures some reflective spoke skins. And you remember that I wanted to put reflective spoke skins on my Supermoto. You remember, remember? 
All right, guys, so we got the goods. He hooked it up. Shout out to the homie for Ride Out Supply. Those things came out fire, yo. Listen, they came out super duper fire. Wow. Guess what I'm doing right now? I'm adding some sauce to the trans cover. Look at it. Looks nice. Added some purple. Oh, man, that looks awesome. I'm about to paint the rims, too. I'm doing the little playing card trick because I don't want to take the tires off. Just gave this a third coat. Them things looking crazy. Look at them. Wow. Such a nice color. It's going to complement everything else since it's going to be all, like, rainbow. <laughs> I could wear any tune. 215 watch and match the scooter. I'm painting the little front signal brackets and I painted a lot of the little accent parts. I got, look at the little booth being put into play. Yeah, I got the pipe bracket. I painted that pink and I painted the Kickstarter pink. And then of course we got that cover there. I painted the little pipe bracket blue. I'm gonna just let this all sit. I'm gonna let it cure. I'm hot. It's not as hot as it was a couple days ago, but I'm hot. So I'm gonna hit three coats on each item. Then I'm gonna leave everything just to dry. I'm gonna show y'all this abstract funkiness I just did. Look at that. It looks kind of like the galaxy. Check it out. I just got inspired and I was like, man, I wanna have one component have all the colors on it. So this one component, this is below the handlebars. It's like a speckle finish with the fluorescence and the solid opaque 2x colors just painted the exhaust yellow y'all <laughs> This is the Leo Vince TT pipe. I use this yellow engine enamel VHT high temperature paint. Check this out, about to put this little eyeball on it. Now this is the part that sucks. I gotta take all these parts and I gotta transfer them onto that. I wish I could just snap my finger and it'll be done. Yo, check it out, y'all. This y'all looking super duper funkadelic, man. Spicy, spicier than a bag of spicy Dorito chips. <laughs> Look at the little details, yo. It's starting to look beautiful, y'all. Look at that headset. The headset is outrageous. It's not fully put together. I'm still messing with the throttle. Look at that pipe. Look at the pipe. Look at the pipe. Look at the pipe brackets. Look at the detail. I just want to give you guys a better look at these Ride Out Supply spoke skins. They're actually really good quality. They snap on to the spoke. And although I thought I could make them work for these spokes, these spokes are way too thick. YouTubers and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215, and I proudly interrupt your scheduled broadcasting to announce a free e-scooter giveaway. Would you like a chance to win a free e-scooter? If so, subscribe to Tune215 and Tune B Chillin'. Both YouTube channels are coming together to give you guys, the viewer, an opportunity to win a brand new Go Tracks V2 e-scooter that goes up to 15 miles per hour. In order to win, all you have to do is subscribe to Tune215 and Tune B Chillin'. When the YouTube channel Tune215 reaches 50,000 subscribers and Tune B Chillin' reaches 1,000 subscribers, there will be a top secret hidden giveaway link posted on one of the two channels. That giveaway link will be active for one week, giving you guys, the viewers, seven days to enter the giveaway. When we reach the giveaway deadline, there will be a live drawing aired via YouTube. If the winner is from the United States, we will ship them the scooter free of charge, zero dollars and zero cents. If the viewer happens to be from outside of the USA, due to high shipping costs, we will contact them via email, giving them an opportunity to cover their shipping costs. If they want to waive their opportunity to win this scooter, this free scooter, it'll still be completely free. The only thing they gotta cover is shipping. Then we'll do a redrawing, giving a runner up an opportunity to win this free scooter. So make sure you stay tuned, turn on that notification bell so you can get notified when every video drops on this channel so you don't miss out on your opportunity and share this video. The quicker we reach those milestones, the quicker we give the scooter away.
Check it out, y'all. It's a better look. It's complete. It's complete. It's complete. Say, no, I'm kidding. It ain't fully complete, complete. <laughs> Silence! I kill you! I'm still missing a front turn signal. My other one was busted. I ordered new tail lights. So as you can see, I do have two brand new amber tail lights. It's all there. I figure I'll capture it in its beauty before the wheels get horribly stained and dirty. Cause as you can see it already getting dust specks and traditionally, ideally you would want to powder coat those wheels. But unfortunately I don't have the powder coating machine and all that. I don't have the resources to powder coat them. So I still need to put on the kickstand. There's a little kickstand that I painted yellow. That's still at the cube. But for the most part y'all this is what it looks like it doesn't look bad it definitely looks a lot better than it did with all those stickers all the black is looking fresh black again the pipe is looking neat panels are looking neat i also didn't put on the rh50 logos i didn't put those on yet but yeah i eventually put them on Overall, I'm happy. I'm happy. I think this was mission accomplished. It took me about a week. It's looking nice. <laughs> Woo!